I had a beautiful trip, you know. My horse broke pretty sharp, but I knew you number five got speed and eight and nine. So I just try to let him go the speed and getting comfortable in his path. When I see the eight and nine, they're moving a little forward. So I just find myself getting outside, having the best trip and the race, way into the stretch. And I knew it by the three A, I knew I have a lot of, a lot of some left horse. So uh, I was hoping, you know, it was gonna keep going because I knew it, they're gonna come back, you know, some of the other horses behind me, but my horse, he fighting. He fighting the race to the end. You have the last four times, three seconds, and then he wins. Did you feel a progression each time with the horse? Yeah, yeah, the first three times, finish second, second, you know, and one the last time. It seems like he really loved the distance. The last time he won a mile, he went in the lead and he won wire to wire, but uh, I, I, I knew he's gonna be a lot of speed this time, so I just tried to play by ear and getting comfortable right behind with the speed and, you know, go from there, you know. My horse, he feel really comfortable uh, in the position that I am, so I was really loading, you know. Talk about Larry as a horseman, because a lot of people aren't familiar with him. He... Yeah, well, as a person, he's a great, great guy. Uh, as a trainer, he's a good trainer. Just, you know, he doesn't have the quality horses that he, he you know, he could have, but uh, the little horses that he have, he always tries his best and he's doing really good job so far. So. I'm really happy for him, you know, and his family too, you know. He's a very humble guy, so he deserves he deserve for him, you know, to win those kind of races. And sitting fourth as you were, was there a point knowing that the pace was going to be so hot that you were going to push the button? Yeah, yeah, you know, like I say, you know, it was a lot of speed in the race, so uh, I don't pretend to go to the lead, but unless nobody go to the lead, and I, my horse, he won the last time in the lead, so I don't pretend, I don't try to go to the lead, but, I, you know, I let him go, and he broke pretty sharp, but when I see the five and the eight and the nine, they went right away. I just find myself in getting comfortable with the spot and, you know, it was, I mean, the 3A was down the race. I, so, I have a lot of hope. So when did you turn him loose then? It was like, about what point? Uh, and the 3A. And the 3A, when the I ask okay. him a little bit, I feel like I have a lot of horse. So, come to the stretch away a little bit, getting in the clear, make sure and he was flying. He knows how to pick a horse out at a, at a yearling show. He can look at a horse and tell you, I mean, he won't tell me because he, he knows it all. And whatever he tells me, just goes right over the top of my head. And I, I, I don't know what he's talking about half the time, but I know a little bit about it because I've been in business 30, 35 years, something like that. Oh, and horses. Yeah. yeah. But uh, Larry, uh, he knows how to pick him. I mean, 11000 for this colt. This colt's made, I don't know, well, before the race, he made 96000 which uh, is pretty good for a two-year-old in uh, September. And now 60% so. of uh, 300000 what, 180000 I, I, I haven't even thought like about that, that yet. But, I will. I'll do the math later. <laughs> so, how did, how did you hook up with Larry originally? You know, uh, a friend of mine was using Larry. He had one horse with him and wanted me to come to a, a sale, an auction with him. So I went with him, Eli Diamant, and uh, we came out and I met Larry and uh, he bought us a horse and, you know, the rest is history. You know, we've, we've had success ever since. There was a spell of about 10 years I, I didn't use Larry. Uh, I, I just kind of slowed down a little bit in the racing business. I've always had horses, though. Always. I've got eight horses in Iowa right now, Prairie Meadows, which uh, John Arnett trains for me there. He's, he's an excellent trainer, too. But, uh, you know, I, I, I love this business. I really do. bought my first horse, half of a horse, in 1982. Okay. That's in Centennial Racetrack in Littleton, Colorado. Just about six yeah. blocks from where I used to live. Well, where do you live now? I live in Eloy, Arizona. It's halfway between Tucson and uh, Phoenix, about halfway. And so how long, about what year was it that you met Larry? Uh, 2000. 2000, yes, yeah, so 23 years, yeah. 2000. Um, he was confident of this horse going in. Yes, he, he was. What was he telling you? Before? Oh, he was telling me he's one of the best horses he's ever had. I said, how, how does he compare to Daring Pegasus, which was another one of our really, really good horses, uh, me and Larry. And uh, he says this uh, this horse is twice as good, and he can go long. He doesn't have to sprint. Larry Pegasus was a sprinter, so you know that excited me because you know you can't you can't really run in races like this if you're a sprinter, as you found out today. There's a couple of sprinters in the race, and you know they uh, they they couldn't hold. It. But you know it's early for them too. It's early. Biggest race Larry's ever uh, won. It's the biggest race I've ever won too. What about you all now being very, very early, but you're at the top of the leaderboard for that? 
the, on the you know, it's something I haven't even thought there. about, but it's fantastic. Whatever, you know, 10 points they told me or something. That's fantastic. I love it. I love it. You know, if we, if we can move forward from this, uh, it'll be fantastic. What, what, a, what a dream. What's, what's, it like watching, what's it like being you, like through the stretch run? Well, I pulled a muscle in my rib cage because I was just, I, was, I had my program and I was kidding, huh? You were riding the horse. <laughs> Wait, you didn't go more than six times, did you? you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> I did it all with me, pulled the water. I'm so happy for Larry. I really am. More than myself. He has a... What, what, what do you say, Larry? He, he likes champagne horses, on a, but he, he's on a beer budget. Is that what, is that what you What's say, the, Larry? What do you say about the? You buy horses. You buy them. Uh, oh, I got champagne taste with beer budget. There you go. <laughs> I love it. I mean, 11,000 for this horse? I mean, come on. It's amazing. Just amazing.